By 2021, everybody had a smartphone. Well, I shouldn't say everybody, because at that time I was one of very few people, a minority of people that had cell phones, that was still using a flip phone. Of those people that were still hanging on to their older flip phones, an even smaller subset of those people were using 3G only devices back in 2021. And that year was important because that happened to be the year that AT&T transitioned away from their 3G network, phasing it out, and in essence, rendering 3G-only phones paperweights. So what AT&T did, along with probably other major carriers, was an extended olive branch of sorts to those holdouts. They sent out free phones. And for the first time since I received this thing free of charge from AT&T without my requesting it, I'm going to take a look at it and see how bad it really is. This is where things begin to get interesting. This is running KaiOS, which if my research is anything to go off of, is a highly modified version of the Android operating system, primarily intended for use, if not entirely intended for use, on these flip phones to bridge the gap, so to speak, between a smartphone and a dumb flip phone. And right off the bat, this definitely does not look like a previous generation flip phone or bar phone home screen. Bringing up the uh, main menu shows us uh, usual stuff, but there's a bunch of icons in here that, uh, well, feel rather out of place. The first of which being this one titled Store, where you can cycle through different categories to find the app you need. And uh, there's actually a surprising number of them that you can install right on here. Notice that one that just happened to scroll by on the screen is showing as installed already. That looks like Google Maps, doesn't it? Well, that's because this thing does have Google Maps, along with the Google Assistant and the YouTube applications. In fact, there's even a news app, similar to what you get on iPhones and Androids, that shows a very neatly arranged, polished, at-a-glance view of uh, different news articles from different sites that you can cycle through and access just by clicking the center OK button and scroll through and read just like if you were on a smartphone. Uh, they also have a weather app on here quite surprisingly. Wasn't expecting that. The only thing you have to get used to with a, a free phone that was sent to you by your carrier is having to deal with the ads that come along with it like this one for uh, low rate loans for any purpose but you could just dismiss that. You can cycle through hourly, go down through the different days, view the humidity, wind and even the UV index and seems to be getting its weather from AccuWeather. There's also what looks like this My AT&T app, like what AT&T provides for their customers on their regular smartphones, but that's not an app. It actually just takes you to a broken web page. It doesn't load, so I'll save everybody's time. There's a very sluggish browser on here, which kind of brings this phone to a grinding halt. I'm trying to scroll down now and uh, it does eventually catch up with itself, but uh, Really not a very fluid and smooth interaction. The camera, as is typical for flip phones and bar phones alike, is rather disappointing. Camera mode, uh, well, only has settings for a self-timer, grid, going to the gallery, and that's it. There's no settings for adjusting the resolution. But cycling over to video actually does give us an option for setting the resolution between low, standard, and high be interesting to see uh, how that impacts the video quality. And you get the customary utilities that just about every phone comes with, a calculator, a unit converter, and even an audio recording app that uh, very closely mimics the voice memos app interface uh, that iPhones have. For example, if I go to do a new recording now, that looks very similar to the kind of interface that you get on an iPhone. There's a level meter, a timer here, the recording uh, name, you can pause and resume recording. The quality is actually on par with what my iPhone 7 can record. So for example, I play this back now and bring up the audio. Oh, that looks very similar to the kind of interface that you get on an iPhone. There's a level meter, a timer here, now, of course, I did have to change the settings in here. How did I do that originally? By going into the options and then, yep, going into settings and changing the recording rate, 8 kilohertz uh, sampling rate, to 44.1 kilohertz. There's a clock app wherein you can set an alarm, a timer, and a stopwatch. Don't get your hopes up. This doesn't actually have the Google app installed on here. It actually will just take you to the Google website 
in the web browser and I know this is the web browser because if I go to back out of it it will actually warn us up here that pressing back again will minimize the browser so that's not an app that's just a bookmark that takes you right to google.com kind of pointless but it is what it is here's where this thing begins to shine at least in uh, gonna be my usage scenario because I'm probably gonna repurpose this thing as a simplistic mp3 player notice it says music Notice how clicking into the music app actually brings up an interface similar to what we get on iPods and iPhones. You could sort by playlist, most played, recently added, and then organized by artists, albums, or even songs. Play whatever song you want, so long as it's on the phone. Cycle through everything. data no problem you have a built-in FM radio on here that you could get free over-the-air entertainment via just like other phones that have FM radios there's no built-in antenna and because of that you're required to plug in headphones to serve as a built-in antenna it actually went through scanned all of the stations on the FM dial and saved them as presets of sorts that you can cycle through and what's nice is you can actually go into the options and switch this to speaker so even though you have to have headphones connected to function as an fm antenna you don't have to use the headphones or earphones to listen to the radio just switch over to speaker and there we go we are listening to fm radio on our alcatel flip phone i don't know about anybody else but that looks pretty bad what is that 10 frames a second and uh, there's no auto yeah, that sounds absolutely abhorrent. All right, so I just recorded a video in high quality mode now. Let's see if that turned out any better. This is a recording test of the Alcatel flip phone in high quality. If we actually go to the gallery, probably be able to, uh, yeah, bring up the file info. And 720 by 480 resolution, that's weird. Oh, and it's the dreaded 3GPP video format. I don't know why this doesn't just record MP4 files. Now in Los Angeles, it's 85 degrees and sunny. <laughs> Today, it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 85 and a low of 65. I gotta say, that's pretty amazing, having the Google Assistant in your pocket in a flip phone. Then there's the Google Maps app. Let's go ahead and pretend that we're looking up directions somewhere. Well, that's not encouraging. Google Maps has uh, stopped responding, and if I keep trying to bring it up, it's obviously still running in the background. But if I remember correctly, pressing and holding the power button brings up this clean up memory option. I'm sure that's going to close all the background apps, so let's go ahead and do that, see if that has uh, any degree of success. I'll just go ahead and drop a pin right there, and look at that. Could even view the turn-by-turn -turn directions in text form press go and there we have it turn by turn directions first to address the elephant in the room yes i do use a flip phone apparently it's a radical concept these days to want a phone that's just a phone in this particular video i'm going to talk about pushing a cheap computer to the absolute maximum well while uxw bill was talking about pushing a cheap computer to the max I'm taking a cheap, free flip phone and trying to push it to the max and watch YouTube on here. <laughs> Maybe even I'll go ahead and try to leave a comment, if that's even possible. I think I just saw the comments. Yeah, there we go. I think the phone's had enough of our shenanigans. It's locked up now and it's not responding to what I'm pressing or trying to do. We're missing the little bar down here. There we go. At the end of the day, it's not a smartphone, but still has some of the niceties associated with owning one, like YouTube, Google Maps, the ability to download and install additional applications, and even the Google Assistant. Obviously, taking a few steps back in time and going back to using a flip phone is not going to be everybody's cup of tea. But for those people looking to perform a digital detox and get away from their smartphone for a bit, or maybe for an extended period of time, this is not actually that bad. In fact, if I really wanted to, say I was going on a vacation or just a uh, staycation and wanted to get a break from, uh, you know, modern day living uh, and all the perils associated with having a smartphone supercomputer in your pocket, I could just go ahead, pop the SIM card out of this phone, pop it in this phone, and do away with distraction.